Hey, it's been a little bit since we had an update here on the channel. Um, last video, I guess, was probably a uh, prescribed fire where we were in here burning some of these woods to try to reset genera regeneration. Um, and I thought I'd just kind of give you a, a look at what things look like now that um, trees are dead and, and uh, things are starting to green up. So uh, this section right here behind me is a section we didn't burn. And you can see it looks really thick in there. And, and it is thick right now. The, here's the problem. So as, as fall approaches and we're trying to hold deer here and all the leaves are off, there's no real structure in there. It's, it's a lot of stems, but no real structure. All the leaves fall off. You can see in there quite a ways. Um, and it's maybe not right here, but in most places it's nearly closed canopy, not much sunlight reaching the forest floor once we get in that full canopy later on in the summer. So nothing down low within reach of the deer is really growing in there. Um, so we wanted to create more structure down low, more cover, more food. So that's what this looks like unburnt. Let me walk up here and show you this section that we did burn. Check this out, the difference. Look at that. I mean, golly, there's... 80% sunlight hitting the forest floor right in here. I mean, there's some trees that survived, but look at all those dead trees. There's very few of those trees that are leafing out. That's what we wanted to accomplish right there. So what's going to end up happening is it's real evident right here. So this, this little, this little, uh, all oh, the devil's walking stick here. It's dead here, but look at all this good browse down low. And now there's also grasses coming in and stuff in there. So there's gonna be, as, as we get later in the summer, you start getting more warm season type annuals and, and uh, uh, warm season grasses and things like that are gonna start coming in and it'll create a real nice cover down, down low, you know, three feet high type stuff. Um, what's good about that is it's gonna create a better fuel load for our next fire. So our next fire will go in and kill even more. So not everything looks like this, but a lot of it does. This turned out really, really good. Now this area right here, to give you a difference in, in how the heat of the fire can and impact, this was burnt in the middle of the day, all right? So this fire was, the humidity was low. The fire got really hot, killed a lot of trees. The last fire we did that day was in this section right here. So humidity had gotten up, you know, 50% or so, maybe 55%, and it burnt really slow and just was just this little low creeping fire, and it didn't kill near as much. So that's been burnt, didn't kill as much. Look at this. Boom, dead, 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 dead. We want more dead so that more sunlight reaches the forest floor. So anyway, just a lesson learned. Um, you really got to burn when the humidity is low enough that you can get a good hot fire and it's not this little teeny slow creeping fire. A little slow creeping fire through grass is fine, but you're not going to kill. See, this poplar tree is still alive. This one's alive. Look how big it is. That big. All this little stuff, though, is graveyard dead, and that's what we wanted. I mean, we killed some big poplars, but there's a, that one there is barely alive. It's got a little bit going, but... Anyway, just wanted to update you guys. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, this is going to be, by the time, so imagine what this is going to look like come Memorial Day when does are dropping their fawns. Where do you think them fawns are going to be born? Where are they going to rear those fawns at? This stuff right here, man. This is going to be really good stuff. Those deer will have tons and tons of food. Look here. There were almost no oaks in here. Look at, look at what's already coming up. Look at that little red oak seedling right there already a foot tall can get some sunlight now and grow we'll put sunlight on the forest floor later